Hello viewers, welcome at English Solutions channel. Today I am going to discuss the last parts of speech that is interjections. Interjections are those words which express sudden feeling or emotions. Interjections show happiness, sadness, surprise, hatred, etc. So I am going to revise the definition that interjections express some feeling or emotion which come out suddenly. Examples are ah, oh, aha, bravo, hurra, hush, oops, look, alas, ouch. So we have to understand that how these are used and that we will discuss in the types of the interjections like for joy we are using hurra, yahoo, yippee. For approval we are showing bravo, well done. For attention, we are using interjections like behold, listen, look, hark. For greeting, we are using hello, hey. For surprise, what, wow. And for sorrow, alas, oh, ouch. So this way you can learn. Actually in writing, you have to take care about the interjections that which are to be used in the right reference. Some examples are given in this sheet that bravo, you have scored a century. So bravo means we are approving, we are applauding the performance. Hurra, we have won the final match. Interjections are underlined here. Bravo and hurra. Oh, you are late again. This is showing regret or sadness. A loss. A loss is also showing sadness. I have lost my wallet. On the loss of the wallet, one is regretting. Look, my father is praying. Here one is warning or cautioning. Welcome friends. It is greeting. A loss, how foolish you have been. A loss is showing sadness. Good heavens, that is happening now. So good heavens, both are here used as interjections. Good heavens is a, like a phrase. Bah, that is a waste of time. Here we are just condemning. Bah is used here. It is time to concentrate. Cheerio, cheerio is also interjection. Hello, what are you doing here? Hello is here, greeting again. And oh, I don't know the answer to this question. Oh is also one interjection. So interjection is a very short topic. Just you have to take care about the different categories which are expressing different emotions or feelings. And in the last, I want to mention few points that you have to remember that commas and periods are used for soft interjections. Means for short emotion or sudden emotion, we are showing that. And for higher level of emotion, we are using sign of exclamation. Using, to, so you have not to get confused that we cannot say that only by sign of exclamation we will identify the interjections. So high level of emotions are shown with the use of sign of exclamation, whereas commas and periods are used for soft interjections. So that's all about the parts of speech. And in the next video, we'll be discussing other topic of the basic grammar. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share my channel English Solutions. Thank you all.